hello friends. Hello. So it is a beautiful Tuesday at Knott's Berry Farm. We are at the Knott's Market right now and where are we going? We are going to Mrs. Knott's Chicken Dinner. Yeah. But we are looking for some secrets. That is right. Not only are we going to eat at Mrs. Knott's Chicken Dinner for the first time in a few years now, but we are going to go behind the scenes and find out all of the secrets. What is the secret ingredient? That's what I want to know. I want to know too. Well, we may not find that out necessarily, but it'll be fun to see all the secrets of Mrs. Knott's Chicken Dinner because we love Mrs. Knott's. Oh. Their, their chicken is great, their mashed potatoes, their the biscuits, oh the my gosh. The biscuits, boysenberry pie, boysenberry Yum. jelly, boysenberry everything. Everything. Well, Mom, all that talk is kind of making me hungry. How about you? <laughs> me too, and I dressed for the oh, restaurant. Yeah. So, Mom, you kind of look like Mrs. Knott's here. <laughs> Cordelia, that it is the idea. Yeah, look at that apron. You look like Cordelia Knott. <laughs> Are you going to make us a chicken dinner in the kitchen? <laughs> probably not. Probably not at home either. They no? can do it better here. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> but you look like you're ready to bake something. <laughs> I know. Lindsay, look at you, all the strawberries. All the strawberries. I do not have an apron on, so I am definitely not cooking in the kitchen today, but I'll enjoy all the food from the kitchen. Well, we do not want to be late for our reservation or our appointment behind the scenes, right? That's correct. <laughs> Follow us along, why don't you, to Mrs. Knott's Chicken Dinner. Here is a bit of the history behind Mrs. Knott's Chicken Dinner Restaurant, taken from a message written by Cordelia Knott herself. Knott's Berry Farm started in 1920 as a small berry farm and a roadside stand selling fresh berries in season. In 1927, Walter and Cordelia Knott purchased 10 acres and built a house where they sold fresh berries and jams and also housed a nursery. The Great Depression of the 1930s hit Walter and Cordelia hard. They even had to pay their employees with jars of jams at times. Eventually, they opened up a small dining room area in the family kitchen where they served coffee, fresh pie, and hot rolls with jam. Then, on one infamous Sunday, Cordelia surprised Walter by deciding to serve chicken dinners. She served fried chicken, potatoes, salad, rhubarb, and biscuits with jam on her wedding china. They charged 65 cents for dinner and served eight dinners on that first day. Soon people were lining up to get Mrs. Knott's famous chicken dinner. In 1935, Walter and Cordelia Knott doubled the dining room in size to serve 40 people. By 1937, they opened up a new kitchen and more dining rooms, which brought the seating capacity to 300. In 1939, they doubled the kitchen and another large dining room was added, upping the seating capacity to 600. By 1946, seating capacity was at 880, and they were serving over 1 million dinners a year. It's crazy to think that because Cordelia Knott decided to serve fried chicken on her wedding china on that fateful Sunday so long ago, we all get to enjoy it today. And her fried chicken is more famous than ever. So we are here. We're so excited to be with. I am uh, Executive Chef Bobby Obiso. Wow. And I'm delighted to have you guys here with us. Wow, we're so excited to be here interviewing you. It's so, it's great to meet you. Um, so what are you, can you tell us a little bit about Mrs. Knott's chicken dinner? Well, what, else, what can I tell you that he's, that nobody knows, right? Yes, we the secrets know him, behind the scenes. We already know in worldwide, uh, chicken dinner restaurant is a, uh, is how everything is started in Asbury Farm. Yes. You know, we, we started in this little place right here, and from here, with, the, with years and years of work, and luckily and thankfully, Cordelia and Walter came over with a nice recipe for their chicken. So little by little, people started getting familiar with it, and then mm -hmm. uh, people started communicating with it, communicating with other people, and that's how the long, long lines 
this chart over here. We still have them. Yeah. You know. Um, no oh, I, I've seen them. Yeah, yeah. But we're getting a little bit more effective now. The restaurant's a little bit bigger. Our fryers are a little bit bigger. Uh, the way we deliver the product is a, a little bit faster. So we don't we don't have the long long lines that we used to have back then. But we still we still have our lines and people will still enjoy it like the first day they ate it. So yes. I have generations and generations of uh, customers are just they come over and I go and come over and talk to them about the how was the experience today and mm -hmm. uh, they they very very uh, pleased they 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 like that what they see they say the chicken tastes exactly how it tastes back then in the days uh, nice. and, and it made me feel really good right uh, my 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 job is to make sure that when Cordelia and Walter build up this restaurant and they put their heart and soul to this restaurant. Um, I want to. I want to make him feel proud, and uh, I even got chills to think of how 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 proud I, I feel to be in here. One and two is I following the exact same recipes they were used to use by then. Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, if it ain't broken, like don't fix it, right? Correct. It's a right. it's a wonderful formula, and everybody loves it. And you guys put your heart and soul in this restaurant, and it shows. Yeah, and I have to, I have to, my job is to make sure the taste and the chicken quality, the freshness inside the chicken, everything is, is there, right? Otherwise, I, I won't serve it. So is there a secret ingredient to Mrs. Knott's chicken dinner, by any chance? Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to give you my biggest secret over here for us. Yes? Chicken. Salt. Salt? Salt, that's it. Just salt. We have that in our kitchen, I think, Mom, right? Oh, we do. We it, do. I just don't think I could duplicate this. Well, at least doctor told you not to eat salt. Everybody has salt at home. That's true. That's right? an ingredient everybody has, most yeah. likely. Uh, yes. So I could make this at home. I mean, it wouldn't be the same, I don't think. Well, but we could try to. You could try to. Yeah, absolutely you can. And then mm, it won't be as easy to make it, but hopefully you can come close. <laughs> Right? We'll see. I don't know. My mom would probably laugh at me if I tried to make the, the I, dinner. I, I, she could probably make it. I'd love to taste it if you do. Oh. Yo, yo, come on over. <laughs> what is your favorite item on the menu here? Is it chicken or is it chicken. the biscuits? It's chicken. I, I mean, at the whole thing, right? I, I, I wanted to say chicken is the most popular for everybody. I enjoy eating chicken. 36 years of my life eating chicken in here. Um, I still enjoy it, eating chicken. Uh, but then we have something else, right? We have, we, we have the chicken pot pies, we have the, the, the chicken and dumplings, we have our rhubarb, we have our biscuits, mashed potatoes, gravy. I can go on Oh, I'm on. getting hungry now. On and on and on and on. <laughs> so I can read you the whole menu. I can tell you everything is, everything, I, 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 I loved it. And you've tried everything on the menu? Absolutely. Well, we haven't, but we should, Mom. We should. <laughs> okay. A challenge accepted. Yeah, we'll just have to come here every well, week and try everything. Go. Everything. Yes, 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 yes. Why not? It's amazing to think that Mrs. Knott's Chicken Dinner just started in a small little room, just over there to the right, the tea room, right? Yeah. And then they expanded after that. But it just started oh. with this little chicken dinner yeah. that was served on Cordelia Knott's wedding china, right? That's correct. They, they, they come over, then the, the reception come in. They were doing growing uh, strawberries and rhubarb and chickens. They have chickens in their fields, and then all of a sudden, recession come in, and they need to make some little bit more money. So they have no other option but making chicken, inviting friends, and serving it in their own wedding china that they have. That's amazing. Yeah. So it was actually their house, and then they put a little of the room, and then they put another room. You know, little by little, they were building because they, they see that they can't feed everybody. They cannot feed everybody that it was coming into their house anymore. Well, so, it was some chicken dinner then. <laughs> and it is some chicken dinner now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, well, but back then, I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing how the history, right? I mean, Oh, yeah, especially some, during that time that yeah. it became what it was. It's kind of like it's an inspirational place. Yes, yes, that, that tells you right there. You know, you might be, you might be a little down, but you're not, you're not defeat. And yeah. if you find a ways, you know, you, you're going to make it. You're going to do, hey. look at me. Yeah, am, if right? um, Cordelia Knott hadn't served that, those chicken dinners on her wedding china, then we wouldn't all be here. Exactly. Enjoying not. this, yeah, lovely theme park and this restaurant. Yeah. And they yeah. saved the farm. And they yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I believe it. <laughs> So we have a question um, about how many pounds of chicken do you guys use every week here? 
I, I, I'll tell you how many demons we serve. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Uh, a, a week, give and take. Uh, it depends on the time of the year, right? And it can be from 7,000, maybe 10,000 if it's real busy. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we have some catering events that we do. So roughly a year, a year pounds of chicken that we buy is about a million and a half. Oh. Million and a half wow. pounds of chicken. If we do that much uh, poundage and chicken that we, that we buy, that tells you how many dinner plates we serve a, a, a day or a week. Uh, oh, you know, I tell, yeah. you, I tell you a day, we easy, easy, easy. We do from 1,200, 1,500, and then- Oh my I, gosh. Well, my mom and I would be more than happy to contribute to that number this summer. Good. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad. Then. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure having you here. Um, let's go take some chicken yes. so you guys okay. can see what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This smells so good. It's even better. Here, I'm gonna zoom into this. It, it, it seems like it's kind of low, but when it's hard to catch up with you, we just, by the time you put it into the grace, it's like hard to catch up. But right now, it's, it's just slow, slow, slow. Okay. Don't let, don't, don't let the, the speed kind of get you because before you know it, Kitchen. Yeah, it definitely gets hot in the kitchen, doesn't it? A <laughs> uh, little bit? That's why I keep it like this. Yeah. Otherwise, imagine how it would be. You know? <laughs> Eating chicken all day long? Oh my gosh, I feel like if I worked here, I'd, yeah, that would be my dinner every day. <laughs> yeah. We have to, you know, already taste it. We have to taste it every day, three times, four times a day. You guys, are, you mean you have to taste it every day? Oh, yeah. I have to. You do? We have to make sure that what we, what we serve uh -huh. is good for you. Oh right? my gosh. Well, that is a hard job, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, it is at times. When I, yeah. see my, when I weigh myself and I can see the scale going up and up and up, right? So this, this is what I'm saying, you see here? Yeah. 2,000 pounds of oil and it's one of them. That's so amazing. We're talking about 4,000 pounds any given time. You know what? The smell of the chicken is making me so hungry right now. Exactly. It looks so delicious too. Yes, to my ears. <laughs> right? Okay, so Chef Bobby hooked us up and gave us a feast here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe. We oh don't my. even know where to start, guys. We have these biscuits, which look heavenly. We have a whole mountain of gravy over here to go with this delicious chicken dinner. Wow, I think, okay. We have the chicken dumplings here, I believe, with um, more gravy too. Which I've never tried before. We have never tried these before. It looks really delicious. We also have this wonderful chicken dinner with mashed potatoes and a chicken pot pie as well. Mom, I hope you're hungry. I actually am. <laughs> oh my gosh. And a delightful salad with boysenberry dressing. Oh my gosh. Where should we begin? Let's start with a bite of the salad. I know it's going to be fabulous. We need some greens, Lynn. I think so. Oh wow. I love a creamy dressing mm -hmm. and this is really, really good. I've never had it before. 
nice and crisp and good. Mm -hmm. But I know what you also really want to try, and that is these mm -hmm. lovely biscuits over here with plenty of boysenberry and uh, butter as well. This will go perfect with that chicken dinner. Uh, why don't you try them first? You read my mind. I, I do mean, that I, sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm your daughter. Okay. Here we go. Oh, they're nice and warm, Linz. Oh my gosh. I can smell them and they Can't smell you? just delicious. Oh my delicious. gosh. This is one of my favorite things. Okay, here we go. Boysenberry jelly or jam. <laughs> delicious. Is it like the best biscuit you've ever had? Best biscuit ever. Oh my gosh. There's nothing like these biscuits. Mm. Whatever we don't eat, I'm sure we're gonna take home. <laughs> oh, you bet. Honestly, I would order these every day if I could. Of course, they make a good breakfast. Mm -hmm. So we have, um, we got a Coke and also a boysenberry punch. Do you wanna we try do. that punch for us maybe? Mm -hmm. um, the boysenberry punch here at Knott's is the only place you can get this. Wow. Delicious. Oh my gosh. So the Coke is good, really, really good, but oh my. Okay, so I'm gonna try one of these biscuits. I'm actually gonna dip it in the gravy. I just, I have to do it. We have this whole little bowl here of gravy and it's calling my name. So I'm just gonna go for it, guys. <laughs> Let's see, just a little bit. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay, there is nothing like a really good biscuit dipped in gravy. Am I right, people? That's delicious. Uh, 10 out of a 10 for that combo right there. Obviously, we knew this was a 10 out of a 10, the biscuit, but the gravy is delicious. I don't know what they do. I mean, we do kind of know what they do here because we just went behind <laughs> the scenes, but um, yeah, chef's kiss, delicious. Okay, so I know what my mom is excited about, those mashed potatoes with gravy. I just am. After you had the biscuit and gravy, I'm like, oh, I need the mashed potatoes and gravy. Yep, gotta have the taters. These are mine. No. They're not yours. You, you, you have to share. So good. I mean, we could always get more, I guess. I don't know about you, but after being in the kitchen and smelling that heavenly chicken. I know, right? I'm really excited to try it. I am super excited. You know, it just came out so perfect and and tender and crispy at the same time. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Lindsay, you this is to die for. It is moist, tender, just the best flavor with the best um, crispy outside. This is like a 20 out of 10. Oh, it is yeah. fabulous. You will absolutely love this. I recommend already this um, Mrs. Knott's fried chicken. Oh yeah, Mrs. Knott's knew what she was doing. She totally knew what she was doing. Okay, so I'm gonna try the mashed potatoes first. These have been calling my name too. They look delicious, oh my gosh. Plus with all this gravy and everything, okay. Let's give this a go. This is good. Whoever invented mashed potatoes is a genius. Like with gravy and just like, ugh, oh, it's delicious. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have another bite. Don't eat it all. I won't, just another cheeky little bite. <laughs> mm. Yeah, 20 out of a 10 for me. Mm. Delicious, this wins for sure. Okay, I'm gonna go for the drumstick, I think. I'm gonna take a good bite of this. Super excited, because like I said, we've been smelling this fried chicken for the last couple hours or so, so here we go. Um, I just don't even know what to say, I'm speechless. This is the most delicious fried chicken I think I've ever had. And the standard of it is just so high. I've tried fried chicken in other restaurants and it's not like this, you know? Sometimes it's a little too dry or too this and that, but this is fresh and moist and crispy and delicious, wouldn't you say, Mom? 100% and the flavor, just the flavor. Yes. And it just falls apart. It's 
fabulous. It's really good. This is what fried chicken should taste like. Okay, so I'm gonna try the chicken breast now. I'm actually gonna put it in a little bit of the gravy. Not that it needs it, but just for the heck of it. Why not? It's here. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's give this a go. Mm. Like I said, exactly how fried chicken should taste. And I hate to say it, it does go really well with that gravy over there. But everything goes well with gravy, right? <laughs> Really good, highly recommend. Nice and moist, like my mom said. Uh, 20 out of a 10 for us. Okay, so my mom is digging into the pot pie, the chicken pot pie, which looks like it has a pot pie sauce, maybe to go over it. I believe it is. Oh my gosh, it just looks creamy and delicious. Oh my gosh. Well, it certainly looks good. Why don't you give it a try? I will. I love pot pie. I forgot that I loved pot pie. <laughs> But now you remember, right? The crust, the inside, oh my gosh, to die for. Lindsay, you would, you're gonna die. It's so good. Yeah, why don't you try it with a little of that sauce? I will. Mm. Is that worthy? Why have we never tried that here before? I feel like we need to have this more often. Oh my gosh, okay. You give it a try. Okay, I'm gonna get a really good bite of this. Looks nice and crispy and delicious. Mmm. Well, I'm excited to try this. Let's give it a go. Mmm. Wow. Oh my god. Um, winner, winner, chicken dinner, I think. What do you think, <laughs> Mom? <laughs> I, well, besides the chicken, which is absolutely fabulous, that is my number two. This is it great. is so good. I'm glad we discovered this. Stop <laughs> eating it so I can have more. Well, we have a feast here though. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna try a little of this, this sauce here. Hmm. Wow. This could not be any better than it is. So I guess we have to give it, is it a 20 out of a 10 or a 10? It is a 20 out of 10 but it is a Lindsay Land star along with the oh, yeah. chicken. Oh my gosh, so I guess now <laughs> we keep rating things 20 out of a 10. So is 10 out of 10 just mediocre then? <laughs> I, I, uh, I don't Hard know to say. what to no, say. No, I wouldn't say that necessarily. No. This just goes above and beyond. Uh, there you go. It's an above and really beyond good. and a Lindsay Land star. Okay, I'm gonna try these uh, chicken dumplings. I'm gonna get a good bite in. Okay, here we go again. Mm. Wow. It, look, it seems like there's some gravy on it and the dumplings are very bready and there's some chicken in it. And it's all just like comfort food, wouldn't you say, mom? Because we have like the pot pie and like mashed potatoes and chicken and now these dumplings as well to pair with all of it. <laughs> Comfort food, mm -hmm. but in the best way possible. Oh, of course. Oh my gosh. I feel like dad would really like this. And the pot pie as well, don't oh, you think? Oh, for sure. He's a pot pie man. I am as well, I just discovered today. Hmm. Okay, mom, why don't you try those dumplings there? I am. I actually don't think I've ever had them before. No? Hmm. Mm. Right? It is comfort food. Pure comfort food. <laughs> oh my gosh. In the best way possible. And if we haven't had enough, here <laughs> are chicken tenders. I love oh. chicken tenders. So one is boysenberry sauce and one is regular. Okay. okay I'm going to try both. Mmm. This is... um barbecue sauce. Okay, mm. how is it? Good? Mm. I bet that chicken is really good, the chicken tenders. The chicken is to die for. It falls apart, crispy and soft on the inside. Oh my gosh, so good. I like both. This is the, oh, that's good. Is boysenberry the winner? Boysenberry is the winner. The other is good, it's really good, but boysenberry has a little bit of a tang to it. Ooh, that sounds good. Mmm. Yeah, so if you're a chicken tender person, or even if you bring kids and they like chicken tenders, then this might be a good option here. Oh, another 
20 out of 10. <laughs> 20 sorry. out of 10. I mean, you can't go wrong with any of this. Mm -mm. It just depends on what you're in the mood for, like the chicken, or you could even <laughs> just get these biscuits and be happy. <laughs> But I mean, it's always a good choice just to get the Mrs. Knott's chicken dinner if you like fried chicken, right? For sure. You can't lose on any of this. Wow. And top it off with a little boysenberry punch. Oh, of course. And this also comes with uh, cabbage and ham, I think, right? Mm -hmm. And some corn. And like we said, this salad is really good, especially with that boysenberry ranch. This is a feast. Oh my gosh. This is like Thanksgiving, right? Yeah, we have enough here to feed an army. <laughs> we'll have to take some leftovers home to dad, right? Definitely. Well, we are pretty full, as you guys can imagine. <laughs> but never too full for dessert. Dessert. <laughs> and we have, oh gosh, I forget the name of this, but I'm going to put it in the description. Um, is, it, is it a sponge in the middle, or what is it? I can hardly wait to find out. <laughs> We will try it and let you guys know, but definitely yep. some whipped cream and fruit and some ice cream to the side. And also the classic boysenberry pie, which we know we love. Oh, for sure. So I think we're ready for dessert. Um, you might as well start, Mom. Okay, I'm gonna take... Yeah, try this. That's what I'm really curious about. All right. Mmm. Oh. This is so good. Here we go. So you're gonna try the boysenberry pie, right, Mom? With a with bite of ice cream. Ice cream. Recommendation from the chef, from Chef Bobby. Yeah, the only way. Yeah, it's the only way, he says. Hmm. Right. Twenty out of ten. Twenty out of ten. Well, that was a good recommendation from Chef Bobby. Oh, it's warm too. A little bit of ice cream with the boysenberry pie. Ah. Oh. The only way to eat it if mm. you like ice cream which a lot of people do wow okay this was amazing loved it recommend it you can never go wrong with classic boysenberry pie oh of course that's always if you like pie then this is always a winner lindsay you're gonna have to like roll me out <laughs> oh my this was worth every bite yeah we have a feast here but we're getting a little full, but at least we saved room for dessert, right? We did. Okay, here we go. Mmm. It's exactly how it sounds. It's like buttery deliciousness. It's very moist. I don't even know how to describe it. I can see why the chef recommended this. This is like unlike anything or dessert I think I've ever tried. Definitely a 10 out of a 10. This is great. I really like this. Wow. Unexpected. Okay, I'm getting that wonderful bite of this boysenberry pie. And, as per recommendation, a little bite of this here. Gonna make sure I get a good bite, because that's what you gotta do of the ice cream. Here we go. Mm. Like my mom said, you can't go wrong with just a classic boysenberry pie. Delish. 20 out of a 10, as always. I mean, there's just nothing like the boysenberry at Mrs. Knott's. Oh, Mom, what's all that? It's our leftovers. Oh my gosh. Look, <laughs> look. Well, I guess you didn't end up cooking in the kitchen today, but... Or tomorrow. Tasty goodness tomorrow. Yes. Well, we won't have to cook at home tomorrow because we have all nope. this. <laughs> Enough to feed an army. I think so. Or the Conways. Or the Conways. Well, everybody, as you can see, we are done with our Mrs. Knott's chicken dinner experience. And it was a great day. It was great to see behind the scenes, ah. <laughs> learn all the secrets of the restaurant and all of that yummy food. Oh my gosh, oh. it was like Christmas. It was like a <laughs> big Christmas dinner. Feast. <laughs> yeah, we have tons of leftovers too. And we are so full, full but happy. Yes. We are full right now and we cannot have another bite. Not one. <laughs> So I think that means it is the end of our video, but only for now. Because we have tons of videos coming out really soon, a lot of them at Knott's actually, because there's so much going on here during the summertime. Like we definitely have to go back to Soak City, right Mom? We, oh my gosh, I want a cabana. <laughs> yeah, we might have to get another cabana. That was like living the life. Oh. Like we felt like we were on vacation. We had like food ordered to our cabana. I mean, you can't get any better than that. You can't. <laughs> 
plus there's a lot more going on at summer nights and we're, we're gonna stay at the hotel pretty soon, right mom? I'm excited about that. So on that note, if you liked this video, please hit that like and subscribe button because it helps our channel out a whole lot. But plus, even better than that, it'll keep you guys updated on our crazy adventures. So you know what's funny? I'm so full now, but I can smell the, the Mrs. Knott's chicken dinner because we're like kind of right nearby and it kind of makes me want more chicken. I don't know why. <laughs> it's true, but what was your favorite thing in the, the meal that we had, Mom? Oh my gosh, okay, that's rough. Um, I have to say chicken first. It was unbelievable. Yes. Uh, mashed potatoes and gravy mm -hmm. and also the pot pie. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah, what my mom said basically. You can't go wrong with the chicken dinner, but that pot pie was amazing. Oh. We can't wait to get that again. With the boysenberry pie, of course, another favorite of oh, ours. Oh, so good. <laughs> yeah, we will definitely have to come back to Mrs. Knott's really soon. But till then, stay safe out there, stay awesome, and perhaps sometime we will see you at Mrs. Knott's chicken dinner. Have a great day, everybody, and thank you so much for watching. Bye! Bye.